Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be talking about time. So, first, let's go through our past lesson. We talked about um, ora, secunda, and minuta. Ora means hour or clock. Secunda means second, and minuta means minute. When we're telling time, we ask koliko e ora. That means what time is it? Koliko means how much? Ya yeah means is. Ura means in this case time. So koliko e ora means what time is it? Ura ye tri. That can be one of the responses. So you can say ura ye tri. Time is three. Or ura ye osem dvain tri reset. Time is 8.32. So, I have some examples of this. For instance, um, we in Slovenia, we use the 24-hour time format. And in certain cases, we will use that in speech, but usually we do not. However, um, in this first example, I'll show you how to say time for the 24-hour um, format. So somebody asks you, Kuliko je ura? So what time is it? If it's 1 p.m., this is 1 p.m., ura je 13. Ura je 13. So time is 13. Or you can say, ura je ena. Time is 1, because it's 1 p.m. If it's 1.35 p.m., we will say, Trinaist petin trideset. So ura ye trinaist petin trideset. So thirteen thirty-five. And if it's one fifty-two, we will say ura ye trinaist dvain pedeset. So thirteen fifty-two. So as you can see, you can already tell time. If you just know numbers from 1 to 100 in Slovene. Up next we have using time, telling time using chess. So in speech we usually use a 12 hour format. Chess means past. So in this case you would say 5 minutes past 2 o'clock in English for instance. We do the same thing. It's used for the first half of the clock, meaning we can use this format from here to here, but we cannot use it here anymore because that's when we use a different th uh, call uh, a different thing. So somebody asks you, "Koliko je ura?" If it's five past four, you will say, "Ura je pet ches štiri." Pet ches tiri means five past four. Pet, see, this is five. So pet, you will say that first. Then you will say ches, and then tiri. Okay, that's the that's how you say pet ches tiri. Okay. If it's 9.15 and somebody asks you koliko je ura, you will say ura je petnaist ches devet. Petnaist ches devet. But you can also say četrt ches devet. Četrt means one fourth. So četrt ches devet means one fourth past 9 if it's 1:25 we say petin dvaiset ches ana again we first say how many minutes passed then we say ches and then we say the time so in that order now for the second half so after 
the 30 minutes for the past for the last 30 minutes of the hour we will say do do means basically until so in speech again we use a 12 hour format um, do is used as until the next hour and keep in mind the next hour pay attention to this remember this it's used as until the next hour so we say the amount of minutes okay plus do plus the next hour and the hour has an ih meaning ih ending so i h there are two exceptions dweg which means two and trig dweg and trig so that was a lot of information so let's do it again do means past sorry do means until the next hour emphasis on the next hour so we're not going to say so if it's one 35 we won't say 25 minutes until 1 no we'll say 25 minutes until 2 that's basically what this means and then we'll say the minutes first so 35 do then the next hours which is 2 plus ich but in this case ich because 2 p.m. is dweg and 3 p.m. is trig. So let's look at this with these examples. Koliko je ura? Ura je deset do petih. So let's go from the beginning. We have a time which is 4.50 p.m. And the next hour is... 5 p.m. 5 is pit. 5 plus the ich ending is petich. How many minutes until... So how many minutes is between 50 and 60? 10 minutes until the full hour, so 10 minutes. So we say 10 minutes, so the sit. And then do, which we always say after the minutes. And then pet, the number, that's the next hour. And then you add ich, petich. Okay, let's go to the next exam example. So we have 15 minutes until 10 p.m. here. Okay. Ura ja, petnaist. Do desatich. So, petmeist. So, 15. Do until 10. Plus ich. Okay? Desatich. And um, you can also say chetert do desatich. Just like before, chetert means one fourth. So, one fourth until 10. When it's five minutes until Two, like it is here, we will say pet do dweg. So we have five minutes left until 2 p.m. Pet do, because that means until, and dweg. Like I said, dweg and trig are the only exception of full hours that won't have the ich ending. Let's continue. Telling time using por. Por means half. So when, when we have Half time, we say por plus the next hour plus the ending ich. Or for 2 p.m. we say dweg or 3 p.m. we say trig. That means, for instance, when we have 4.30 a.m. We will say por because this is por. So por plus the next hour. The next hour after 4 p.m. is 5 p.m. So, po, five is pit, so pit, and then we need the ending, ich, po, petich.
okay? So let's look at some examples. Koliko je ora? In this case, it's 30 minutes past 4. So we say, ura je pol petih. In the next example, it's 30 minutes past 9 p.m. So we say, pol desetih. Then it's 30 minutes past 7. So we say, pol osmih. We can also tell, tell time using op. Op means at. So op kateri uri would mean at what time? Op kateri uri. And then when we want to respond, we will say op plus time plus ich ending if it's a full hour. So for instance, if it's not a full hour like here, you will say op sedem petin dvaiset, which means 7.25. But if it's a full hour, you would say op sadmich. Uh, now we'll quickly go through days of the week. So we have ponedeljak, Monday, torek, Tuesday, sreda, Wednesday, četvrtek, Thursday, petek, Friday, subota, Saturday, nedelja, Sunday. And quickly go through basic days of the week. Um, basically, we have ponedeljak, torek, sreda, četvrtek, petek, sobota, nedelja. Now, those are just the days. Now, v means in or on. On Monday would be v ponedeljak. On Tuesday would be v torek. On Wednesday would be v sredo. On Thursday would be v četvrtek. On Friday would be v petek. On Saturday would be v soboto. And on Sunday would be v nedeljo. So v ponedeljek, v torek, v sredo, v četvrtek, v petek, soboto, nedeljo. You can see that the endings change. Um, and then we have the word op. So op ponedelki would mean Mondays. Op torki means Tuesdays. Op sreda means Wednesdays. Op četvrtki means Thursdays. Op petki means Fridays. Op sobota means Saturdays. And op nedeljah means Sundays. When we ask gdaj, it means when. So, gdaj, we can respond some of this. Včeraj, which means yesterday. Danes, which means today. And jutri, which means tomorrow. So, včeraj, danes, jutri. Zjutraj means in the morning. Dopodne, which means in the the time before noon, popaudne, which means the afternoon, zvecher, which means in the evening, and ponoči, which means at night. So zjutraj, dopaudne, popaudne, zvecher, ponoči. And we have zgodaj, which means early, pozno, which means late, prej, which means before, and potem, which means after. So now we have some sentences based on the vocabulary we just learned. Danes je sreda, jutri je četvrtek. Danes je means today is. Today is Wednesday. Danes je sreda. Jutri je četvrtek means tomorrow is Thursday. Jutri je means tomorrow is. Delam ob sobotah in nedeljah. Delam means I work. Ob sobotah means Sundays, means Saturdays, I'm sorry, and Sundays. So I work Saturdays and Sundays. V ponedeljek grem domal. V ponedeljek means on Monday. 
Grim means I'm going, and then home, the mo. On Monday, I go home. Next, we have the question: Kako pogosto? Kako pogosto means how often. Vedmo means always. Ponavadi means usually. Pogosto means often. Včasih means sometimes. And Nikoli means never. So we have Vedno, always. Ponavadi, usually. Pogosto, often. Včasih, sometimes. And Nikoli, never. Let's quickly go through this. Zima is winter. Pomlad is spring. Poletje is summer and Yasin is fall. We also have all the months of the year here. So, Januar, Februar, Maret, April, Mai, Juni, Juli, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, that's it for today. It was a little bit more vocabulary based, but I hope you still enjoyed and I'll see you next time.